the big melt is underway right now after snow piled up on the metro area earlier this morning. And if you were out on the road, you know that this morning, the morning commute, not such a fun drive in. And it hasn't been really fun to shovel because it's heavy snow. And tonight at 6, we're tracking another chance for snow this week. We've got live team coverage for you tonight. Our Karen Campbell is checking the road conditions right now. And Angela Buckman is tracking what we're going to see next when we're talking about snow in our future. Angela? Uh, and Marie and Scott, our snow in our future comes first thing tomorrow morning. So enjoy the break right now. Main roads in great shape, mainly wet. Your neighborhood roads, side streets, still most likely a little slushy. Uh, we do want to make sure that you're aware that bridges and overpasses will be an issue as we head into the overnight hours and early tomorrow because of refreezing. Temperatures today stayed above freezing. It's the reason a lot of the snow melted. 33 degrees in Indianapolis, 34 Kokomo and Muncie, 34 in Bloomington and 33 in Greencastle. Technically, we still have a few counties under the winter weather advisory and the winter storm warning through 8 o'clock this evening, but the snow is really starting to wind down. Out and about, you may run into a few flurries or a light wintry mix. That will end, and then we turn our attention to a new wave of snow early tomorrow morning. Cloudy skies, we do stay just above freezing the next few hours, but that changes tomorrow morning. That's the reason we may see a few school delays because of refreezing and some additional light snow that will arrive first thing tomorrow morning. Mention those main roads in good shape. The side roads, a different story. Still a little slushy out there, Karen. Yeah, and Angela, definitely slushy. And just within the past, I don't know, 10 minutes or so here in downtown Indianapolis, there's a, a light mist coming down, right? So it looks like we're we're not exactly done yet. But again, Definitely slushy out here for the sidewalks, for the streets. We do know that Indiana State Police, you know, they were out monitoring the roads today and they tell us there were 44 crashes that they responded to. Six people were injured. 27 drivers had slid off of the roadways. Now we know plow truck drivers have been working long hours today to make sure that the roads stay clear and safe for drivers. And just a few hours ago, we saw a plow pushing that wet snow aside on the roads in Fountain Square. Even driving down many neighborhood streets, it was painful. Painless, I would say, because much of the snow again had already melted, turning into that that slush. We met up with a man named James and his mini golden doodle rainy taking a walk this afternoon. James says he got lucky because of the snowfall this time. Take a listen. When we woke up, it wasn't all that bad, but then it's been a mix of basically rain and um, snow this entire time. So really not anything too, too crazy, but worries that if it stays like this overnight, then it's going to be really difficult in the morning. Yeah, and uh, we heard Angela's forecast um, just a few moments ago. You know, she talked about the bridges and overpasses, uh, you know, potentially freezing overnight. So just be, of course, cautious uh, with that as you um, head out on your morning commute. But also, you know, right now, Ann and Felicia, um, again, as I mentioned, the roads here, they're clear. So I am hopeful that I can make it home safe tonight. Thanks to all of the plow drivers that have been working hard overtime, making it safe for all of us drivers out here on the roads.